Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's a big porky here. Still the voice of hardcore boxing. <laughs> Having loads of fun with this channel, aren't we now? It's getting really interesting, isn't it? Uh, people just stop texting me in the morning. Uh. Jesus. Don't get a minute to me send, do I? I feel like, you know, tonight I'm just going to go get me cue and I'm just going to go miss him from about 5 o'clock while 11. It's me and me cue, I'm going to shut that door and I'm just going to pop balls. Right, uh, title of this video Three men and a baby. Joshua, Tyson, Fury, Wilder, they're the men. Guess who the baby is? <laughs> You'll see when you look at the front of the video. Now it's Dillian White. Why is it every time, every time we have A Wilder fight coming up or a Joshua fight coming up. We've got Dillian White going on about how Joshua didn't want to pay him well to fight at Wembley and he's not going to be mugged off because the rematch clauses and all that. Oh my god, you're getting millions of pounds to fight at Wembley and you're going on about rematch clauses after you've won. Go win the fight first and then you renegotiate, don't you? Oh god. So you've got that, and then every time Tyson Fury, or um, so every time Wilder fights, well he's fighting Tyson Fury next, you've got him saying that Wilder's ducking him. Dark Squad! Dark Squad! Copied that off Ultra. And like, I'm getting a bit, it's getting a bit tiring in it now and boring. I mean, he's not calling out Ergovic, is he? He's not calling out Usek. You know. Joe Joyce, Dubois, none of them. He's scooping up your Malcolm Tans, isn't he, and people like that. And do we really want to see Povetkin, Dillian White? Come on. 41 year old Povetkin, who's just gone life and death with Hunter. Do we want to see that? I mean, for a part of fight, he was life and death with you, wasn't he? Do we want to see Povetkin? 42 next year. Povetkin's 42 next year. Come on, you can't serve us down upon pay-per-view, Adam Smith, can you, Hey, If you do, you will always be known as... Bean! Run a bean. Could have been. Should have been. Never been. Fake bean. Beanie. You will always be known as Beanbag. You can't serve us that. Get in your lane, you. You know what I am. You can't serve us that up, Mr. Bean. White against Povetkin. Come on. Somebody's just, somebody's just sent me an email saying that uh, so I slept like a log yesterday, nine o'clock while eight. Somebody's just sent me a. Uh, <laughs> traffic here, man. Somebody just sent me an email saying that oh second Chisora is going to fight. I wonder if that's going to be for the WBL. I mean, this is how I look at it, right? If it is, they're going to keep that belt in house, aren't they? They're trying to do a Don King, aren't they? You can't blame Eddie Hearn, can you? He's a businessman, and he's going to manipulate it the best way he can and get as many millions as he can. He's not he's not banking hundreds of pounds or thousands of pounds. They're banking millions, aren't they, Matthew? Millions of pounds. And they're not bothered about who the trample on and why not? Don King won't bothered, were they? So good luck to Eddie Earn. It's only because I'm with Dennis and I see what's going on behind the scenes and there's a lot I can't talk about. I mean shh. I was saying, oh can I mention that tomorrow? No, you can't. I'm like, oh. There's a lot I can't talk about. And I don't I try not to get personal, but is this getting personal, me saying, I don't want to see Dillian White against Povetkin. I think Dillian White's better than that. I mean, Povetkin's not A-class, he's not even B-class, is he no more, but yet... Dillian's saying his career's about legacy and it's not about money, but he's not been by a British title yet, has he? He's not been by a British title yet. 
So what 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 what's all that about? What's what's all that about? I don't I don't think that's right man. It's pay-per-view and it's not it's not one of European yet. It's another Tony Bellew job, isn't it? It's another Tony Bellew job. Pay-per-views and not won a world title. Yeah, he got a, a few, and he had a cl cleverly one though, didn't he? A pay-per-view before he had even done anything. Because they had intense beef on IFL. Come on. You're talking to me. You're talking to the pig. So, had a good day yesterday up at Dennis's office. It was interesting. Good bucks on and half. Till later. Till. Till later. Be like, oh, so what are you doing? So what are you on about? What are you on about? I'm trying to be controversial with them. Oh god, I've had so and so on phone. Are we bothered? We ain't bothered. I'm just gonna keep plodding on and pushing it to the next level. <laughs> so I get a good hiding. Cause it's coming, in it. I'm gonna get cracked, aren't I? It doesn't hurt though when you get cracked, does it? It's the bottom of your spine. It releases adrenaline, doesn't it? Cure its pain, doesn't it, within seconds? Maybe that's what I need, isn't it? A scutch off Dennis. Maybe I need another one of them body shots off Dennis into first place. Oh, oh! Taste all my dinner that day. All my soup. Keep emailing, emailing me now, I've sent that video out. Telling me they're genuine. I think that's nice, isn't it? Because I've put cat amongst pigeon and I cause half in you. <sighs> Come on. You know what the problem is with these emails you keep sending me? I keep getting them off yours. And the other part of email, you're calling your sends different names. Not all on you, two on you. So it is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> so I don't even want you to send me them, Carly, from now on, if they're like that. Just keep it to you send me, because it just cheeses me off. Just starting to wonder why I'm involved with you. People acting out the fantasies as different names. We've got a Tico Ariola from Barnsley, born and bred. Tico Ariola. What the hell? Go on, Tico. He probably names Fred Leadbeater or summer. Tico Ariola. Jesus. Couldn't make it up. Still got that for sale there. I had to go knock on the door there with Reddies. Not gonna shift that at that price. Pound notes put sorts it, doesn't it? Oh, do you know I forgot something? I tell you, I'm not in good health, mate. I'll be brown bread soon, mate. If you do things what I've done for years, it catches up on you, doesn't it? I'm gonna be brown bread soon, I'm telling you. Brown bread porky. Put me out of my misery. Peeing blood. Blood coming out of my nose, out of my throat when I'm sick. I tell you, roll on my big medical on 27th. I don't know if I can hang on well then. I might be brown bread before then, it might be too late. Could have big C, could I? <sighs> big C. Yeah. The problem we've got in this country is doctors, you can't even get in, can you? You can't even get into doctors, can you, when you want? There's all these foreigners that are here, clogging the system up. We're back on boat, that's what I say. We're overrun with them, aren't we? People need to go drive down Exfolk in Doncaster. They just tip the rubbish out in the middle of the street, don't they? We've got vermin running all over the place. But you can't say oh, because you're racist. I say something though, but I'm racist for saying it. So you can't win all this PC stuff, sooner or later, once they start killing more of our people in country and blowing us all up and that, that'll all stop. There'll be none of this hugger hoodie. Porky for Prime Minister. But, uh, it is what it is, and But yeah, I want to see... Uh, I want to see good fights. You know what? Lou DeBella made a good point. That who cares really about all these bum fights? Who cares? Go on then. Wake up. I 
fast ya. Uh, this is how I look at it, right? You know, when we look back to great fights at boxing, we always think to, and all you who don't know this, because some will be watching and they don't understand this, go and watch Ward versus Gatti YouTube. Ward versus Gatti, round nine. Just watch that for three minutes. That were a 10 round fight for no belt. They had three fights, they were all 10 rounds, and there were no belt on the line. They're the greatest fights in boxing history. They'll go down as some of the greatest fights now. We had all that hype for Joshua, didn't they? Clash on the dunes and all that. What were all that? They might as well have been fighting on Skeggy, at Skeggy, aren't they, on beach? On Skeggy dunes, Skeg Vegas. All that hype and look what we served up. Joshua running for his life like a little scaredy cat, like a little girl, right? Ward and Gatti, they just got at it, didn't they, in pocket? In pocket means up close, it's throwing punches. Like Josh Whale and Warrington when they fight. But that one for a belt, people don't say, oh, it was for a belt. The Rumble in the Jungle, Muhammad Ali, does anybody remember what belt it was for? I do, WBC and WBA. But nobody does, they just remember the Rumble in the Jungle and it were a great fight. And how Ali were up against it and he went to ropes and won. Now, great fights don't need to have belts just make the fights let's just put the fights in and get rid of all these sanctioning bodies once and for all because and tv people are the problem aren't they i've been in enough meetings and heard them say well you know it's better if we can put a belt on and on the poster and that because it sells it better to public load of crap the fights sell themselves you don't need a belt i mean what sort of sport is it now where we've got People saying Joe Calzaghe's a two-weight world champion. No, he's a one-weight world champion, and he happened to win a belt that was for the Ring Magazine belt. What next? Beano Magazine belt, or LO Magazine belt, or what about Vogue? Vogue Magazine belt. Hey, right? Vogue. What about Dave Allen versus Nick Webb two rematch for Vogue Magazine? Hey, I've got an even better one. I've got an even better one. Andy Townend against Anthony Tomlinson for Viz Magazine. I mean, is that what it's coming to? Magazines are dictating stuff. It's wrong, it's wrong. All sanctioning bo belt belts need to go. British Boxing Board of Control. Let's get rid of them all, let's make fights. We know who's good and who's bad, don't we? Let's just see good fights, man. I don't want to see kids getting, getting building up records thinking they've got to do it like Mayweather. Let Mayweather were a one-off. Let's see everybody fight, and if they lose, fight, promoters still bring them back. That's all we want to see. We all love sport, don't we? We all love the sport. That's what I want to see. It's not that hard, is it, really? Let's just see great fights, but... Chisora against Usek, if that happens, it's going to be pay-per-view because they're ready to earn fighters. Chisora gets his second pay-per-view and he's got nine losses. You know, Chisora, you're going to have Davy Day, they're going to wheel out Davy Day. If it's true, if it ain't true, well, they're going to wheel out Davy Day. Ah, <laughs> beat her into office. <laughs> They're going to wheel out David A saying Chisora is stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. That's what he's going to say and he's going to say he's reaching untold levels of fitness. His body fat's down. He doesn't eat chocolate digestives no more. Get in your lane, you. He doesn't eat chocolate digestives no more. He's just a bare fruit and coconut man. Smoothies, bottles of water, job lot. He's gone, he's gone full on vegan. They're gonna give it all that. And who six undefeated then he's the king at cruisers. Probably gonna go down as greatest ever cruiser weight. Can Usyk step up a stone and do him? Chisora won't be able to get near him. We all said Chisora were finished after he fought Caballel. See nobody wants to go near him, do they Caballel? Nobody wants to go near him. Nobody. Nobody mentions his name. 
they don't mention the Bois, Joyce, none of these matching fighters, do they? Why is that? It's an hard fight, aren't they? They only want an hard fight if it's pay-per-view and it's the end of the career or it's pay-per-view and there's a route to being brought back. Like David Higgins, that New Zealand manager, every time he puts Parker in a fight, he, he brings New Zealand TV to the table, doesn't he? So, he actually brings a lot to the table, instead of me, a tin of spam. But, he gets it in a contract so that they can bring him back in yet another pay-per-view. It's all wrong, isn't it? Because, why should they put much effort in in that fight when they know they've got another pay-per-view down line in contract? It's like Ruiz. Eddie Hearn's got to give him another pay-per-view, hasn't he? So why does he need to get in shape? Because he's not really bothered about fighting rematch with Joshua, but yet he's got another rematch anyway. So why is he bothered? It's all messed up, isn't it? I'm going, I'm going around in circles with it. I'm going around in circles with it. Whoops, it's easy. It's not good, is it? Uh, big day today for me today. Big day. I think we can park. I think I'm gonna reverse up. I'm gonna reverse up today. Right. But other than that, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy. We're on here. Only time. Some good fights on. We want. We don't want to see crack, do we? We're not asking for too much, are we? We're not asking for too much. I don't think so. Tell you what, I had a, I had a go in a car yesterday, see it Cooper, is it? Cooper? Or Leone? Didn't like shit off a shovel. I like manual though. I'm an auto man. But, uh, no, we just want good fights, don't we? But what I want to know is how people can keep falling for the same stuff with Dillian White. I mean, I don't mean to dig Dillian White out, and I don't want to get personal, but I'm fed up of hearing it now. Him, we, him being wheeled out on these platforms, saying that people are ducking him and that. We know people who are no wilder than we know people at WBC and Gillian White hasn't served any papers on WBC. He's not suing him and he's got two grounds to sue to force the fight with Wilder and stop Fury Wilder having two fights this year. He can stop that if he wants and you've got to look after yourself. People keep saying they've got to look after themselves in boxing. Well, stop it. Unless you're getting step aside money. Now, if you're getting step aside money, well, that's a bit different, isn't it? We're not saying he is getting step aside money, but if you've got a chance to get to make Wilder come to England and fight you and defend his WBC title in a mandatory fight, if you've got a chance to do that, why don't you just force the issue instead of going round going round the issue fighting, you know, your Chisoras, your Parkers, your if it's Povetkin, I don't, I don't want to hear that. So I'm off the Dillian White hype train, which is a shame because I get on well with his trainer. I'm off the hype train. Uh, I don't even think I can get back on the hype train, to be honest, because we're being fed a load of crap. People are over promoting themselves on IFL and all these other channels on the Sky platforms. They're being over promoted and it's becoming a cult. And what's happening is we're being forced, we're being it's being thrown at us, and the public are being brainwashed. We're being brainwashed. I look alright. Still got dark eyes, I know. We're being brainwashed. We're being brainwashed by these people and it's no good it's no good at all being brainwashed I can't abide it anymore we're putting up with a load of rubbish and well, we just want to see a good fight I think Dillian White can beat Wilder I think he can beat Joshua That I think that's a 50-50 I think Wilder 
I think that's a 50-50 as well, him and Wilder. Maybe a 55-45 in Wilder's favour if he hits you, but I think he's got tools to beat him. But going on his last performance, no, he didn't, he didn't come in in shape. I don't want to hear all that about, well, I didn't have a good camp and all that. Well, Dillian White fought his last fight and he didn't have a good camp. But yeah, his reason for not fighting Joshua was I need a longer camp because I don't fight unless I've had a long camp. Well, you've just fought with a short camp, so why take the fight? Why fight in Saudi, Dillian, if you didn't have a long camp? What's different? It's still a fight. You've still got to prepare accordingly. So people in industry don't fall for stuff like that. They're the like, look, just get them fought. But if you could pick up your fifth pay-per-view against Povetkin, and you've not even had a European title, well, one of them things, isn't it? Look, people in industry agree with me, don't they, on this? Do you know what? I had a, I had a text of somebody yesterday, a voice text. And, it, and do you know what? He said, what I'm doing is brilliant. And when somebody like that can text me, I think, because all these other people, all these other managers and promoters and that, don't say a word. Don't say a word, but you know when they're on outside looking in and they're not hanging out at the back of Ed Yearn, they'll be roaring to me and sending me stuff, bits of tidbits. Because that's what's happening. <laughs> they'll be sending me tidbits. Oh, what about this? What about that? And this happened, that happened. I don't know what to put out and whatnot. Bitching. That's what happens, they'll be bitching. Same as when a few of them get kicked off at the Sky Pundit seat. They'll be bitching to me. So it's got a plate waiting game, haven't we? Plate waiting game. I sit back and watch. And I'll say, I remember you when you didn't want to come on my channel. And I'll say, F off. I've got a long memory. But. It's one of the things, in it? Let's have a look. We could get this out today, this video, and then I can obviously deal with all my other stuff today. Look how I'm dressed today. I've got people coming here today in suits, and I was told to put a suit on. Look what I've put on. I've had it cut down about three times, I've lost that much weight. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to sit in that boardroom in there today, like this, like some old dosser. And I've got people coming here today in suits. Am I bothered? Am I heck? I'm just a dosser anyway. But I'm going to sit here like this with my clipper board and I'm going to go, what about this? What about this? What about this? <laughs> uh, and to think I didn't even fancy coming in today. But shout out to Stephen Davey. I hope you're well. I hope your cancer's all right. I hope you're okay. Uh. I hope you're genuine as well, all right, because if you're not, that's not nice, but I hope you're well. I don't like to see anybody ill. I'm not really well in the I hope you're well. A shout out to all the other people whose emails I keep getting sent off, Carly. Oh. <laughs> so I think that's about it. Shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging. Innovation alloys as well. Alright, so peace out. Come in.